Good morning guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. There is a lot going on. Um, it's 7 a.m. on my way to my workout and weightlifting. I have my coffee, I'm listening to a podcast. I'm like kind of back in my like self-development podcast era. It's been good, you know? Today, my new furniture is being delivered. So the patio furniture finally is coming. And then Macy and I are recording our episode. We already recorded one, so we want to record another one again. We just want to redo it. And then this evening, we are shooting the new puff bags that are coming out, the pink one. And then we have another one that's coming out a little bit later. So yeah, gonna be a really fun day. Getting my life back in order, being home. I stayed out on Saturday night so late and I just like don't do that anymore and I'm still feeling it. So this is why I don't do this anymore, but it was worth it, it's fine. If you are new here, subscribe. We're back from physical therapy, it went well. I just got, I am so happy. So, sorry about Coco's barking. It's a big day, okay? I finished recording with Macy, I've been working. Here we are, Fitz is back. He got a summer shave. Anyways, I just got an email. Backstory, I was really upset that I wasn't going to the ACMs because I had something that fell through and now I'm not going, I'm not invited. So I was like really upset about it because obviously it's ACMs in Dallas, but mainly because Dolly Partner's hosting it. And I was like, I have to see Dolly. Well, I just got an email. I'm at a Dolly pop-up tomorrow that they want me to come to, and it's a media preview and press conference for a pop-up this weekend, and Dolly is going to be there. I am so happy. I literally couldn't be happier. This is going to be the best day of my life. <sighs> wow. I literally, like, I can't believe it. This is the best day, literally, of my life. I am... <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna see Dolly. I'm gonna see Dolly. I'm gonna see Dolly. It is fully an hour later and I'm like tearing up. Like I am so excited. Like so excited. It's crazy and it's even cooler than I thought. I mean, I knew it was gonna be cool, but like the opportunity, like I am, oh my god, I'm literally crying. Oh my god. I'm like, hey girlies, we are oh, about to shoot. The bags are in the back. We're not showing the second bag. I decided to keep that a secret for one. Okay. Yeah. So we are doing the pink, which will be launching very soon from when this vlog goes up because this is like a week later. Okay. Yeah. I think relatively We don't soon. actually have our exact date because we're still waiting we on- wait for delivery de date. Exact delivery, which is always up in the air. So that's why. But Jessica is dressed like me. That wasn't the goal. It was just the thing. <laughs> I'm in the white dress and cowboy boots, but I can't show you my boots that like flashing yeah. around. Them. But she's wearing the Chicago Annie's, obviously. Obviously. And we're shooting with Hannah Dimmitt. Dim I don't know why I can't talk. We're shooting with Hannah Dimmitt, and she is the most talented. Like she's unbelievable. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. We just changed. It's Ugh. like 85 degrees out, but it's been raining, so it's like really humid. And Jess just gave me this vest. It's really cute. And we have our bag. We did the first bag, and now we're doing the second. We did that in 30 minutes. Very quick. Um, we're really getting it down, but I'm just gonna do a few as a dress and a few with this. Jess is killing a mosquito. I'll do it for you. Oh, oh she's pretty good at this. It. I just like, I really don't fuck with dogs. No, I really don't like mosquitoes. We are. Woo! Oh, need the bag. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good morning guys, I am getting ready to go to SoulCycle. I've been really on a soul cycle kick lately i think i might wear no wearing shorts to spin if they right up it's like the worst thing ever today is dolly day i am so excited presley is going with me we're gonna leave around 11 i think and they said to arrive at noon 
and then Dolly's gonna make a press conference at 1.30 and it's gonna be like a whole thing. I'm so excited. Fitz has been so loving since I got back from Austin. Like I always like want this from him and he doesn't give it to me because he's normally busy. He has other things to do. You know, it's just not his priority, but he's just been so sweet. And he cuddled me all last night and he's just been sitting next to me. What a good boy. Isn't that right, Fitz? But he did get a summer shave, but it's also hot out. So to anyone who shames me for this, think about Fitz in 90 degree weather with all of his hair. It sounds horrible. Big stretch. Oh, big stretch, Fitz. Good job. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Well, now he's falling. He, he just sits and stares at me. You are perfect. You are perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys, I don't love my outfit, but my gut is telling me to go with it. I changed a couple times. I really should have tried stuff on last night, but I was just so tired. And, like, my entire wardrobe is Dolly Parton approved because it's, like, pink and whatever. Um, I need more, like, cool denim rhinestones that's, like, cool, not, like, you know what I mean? Anyways, I don't know, like, uh, I'll show you guys. This is it with my black boots. It's also just so hot, so it limits, like, a lot of what I can wear. And, like, the last thing I want is to feel uncomfortable. But, um, this, honestly, I feel like it's cute. Like, I actually feel like it's good. I'm gonna wear my Chanel and get going. I've wrecked my closet, so I'll come home and clean that. I have meetings and stuff later tonight. And I just got invited to a lunch tomorrow with... Laney Wilson and I love Laney Wilson and apparently there's like other people performing so I'll be there it's okay if I'm not going to the ACMs because I'm going to all of this stuff and I'll probably be tired by Thursday anyways and then I can just watch them on my TV so anyways my breakfast has arrived Presley's taking me up in I think like five minutes at this point I'm gonna bring two bags because I'll wear this one like out and then I need this for all my stuff. This looks actually really cute with this outfit. Amazing. Um, yeah, guys, I'm so excited. Like what a good surprise in my week, in my life, in my lifetime. Like this, I just don't think anyone realizes besides, I mean, like I feel like you guys will know. And like obviously like people in my life who I, I called like 15 people yesterday and they were like, I'm so happy for you. Presley is here, it's time to go. So basically, Dolly's team. They told me to get there at noon. Um, and there's a press conference at 1.30. She's doing a pop-up. I know I told you guys all this already, but just to reiterate, this is the best day of my whole life. It would honestly be, like, still, I would feel the same way if Dolly wasn't going to be there. It's not like I'm going to see her. Like, I'll do a press conference. It's not like I'm going to be with her. You know what I mean? But just, like, getting invited to something for Dolly. Like, <gasps> I am so excited. I'm literally dying right now. Oh my god. Presley just pointed this out. No, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't realize all the outfits were gonna be here. Oh yeah, the car. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Coco needs that. Oh she has this actually, but not from Dolly. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is amazing. Sit, sitting the there. Yeah, with my bow. No, like, where's the best seat? Yeah, we're gonna figure out where to sit for this media, for this press conference, guys. But this is so fabulous. Everything is so great. These are so cute.
Carter Faith has a new single out and it's so good. Guys, I'm obviously wearing my Dolly shirt. I'm back from the pop-up. I'm going to Sprouts. No one at Sprouts is gonna know that I was just in the same room as Dolly Parton. That really pains me. But anyways, um, it was amazing. Like, Presley even was like, it was just, I mean, she liked Dolly Parton, but like, I feel like once, I'm, I honestly, I keep saying I'm gonna do a solo episode just talking all about Dolly Parton, even though there's other podcasts about her. She is the coolest woman ever and has done so many things and just helped so many people and is just so cool. We got to go to the press conference, which you guys saw, and Dolly was like right, like five rows, maybe four rows in front of me. And it was just amazing. She was so funny and like seriously, it was so cool. And thank you guys to everyone who follows me and everyone, you guys are honestly like so nice and so cool. And just like I have the life that I have and the like opportunities and just like the random stuff that comes up because of you guys. And I am just so grateful and I love you all. And yeah, I'm sure you guys are not watching a vlog to like, I don't know, I feel like I'm whatever, being kind of annoying, but like it was just, the coolest thing ever and like it means the world to me because genuinely Dolly Parton is like my idol like there's no one in this world that I would be like so starstruck by like I don't even to describe it because I don't even feel like when I saw her I was starstruck I was just like in awe like I don't know how to describe it but she's just I mean she's my idol like that's how to just you want me to describe it like she's just my idol and it was the coolest thing ever and yeah so Anyways, back to regular scheduled programming. I did get invited last minute to a lunch tomorrow too um, with Lainey Wilson, and I love Lainey Wilson. So I will be going to that as well. I feel like I'm in Nashville, you know? So anyways, going to Sprouts. I, for the first time, I don't have a grocery list. I'm just gonna kind of see what, see what speaks to me. I did want to cook tonight. Um, I don't really know what I want, so. Gotta figure that out. My butcher box did come in today too, so I like really shouldn't get more meat but i love getting the salmon from trader joe's i don't even think i have salmon in my butcher box so you know what maybe i will i got a ton of groceries new things to try and i'm gonna make a new recipe tonight so and i'm gonna try these veggie straws screaming hot they look good i have to get on a meeting in one minute, so need to do that and unbox my butcher box, whatever. Not sponsored, I'm a paying subscriber myself. I know it's like all over like social media, but let me tell you, I love butcher box and I'm trying to eat more protein just because I'm like lifting weights and I just, I feel like my body just needs more protein. So it's amazing, but anyways, I also just got invited to another show on Friday um, from Sony Nashville. So like this week is really just coming together. Just tried out a new recipe, very loosely. I'm gonna taste test it, see how it is. I've been watching One Tree Hill since I got home and cooking and just cleaning up. And today was a fabulous day. So I am going to go to bed as soon as possible. Well, I'm gonna read my book because I really need to finish it. I haven't been like super excited about it, so I'm like falling behind on my reading goal. Um, and I also need to read the next book, the sequel to, what was, oh my God, this the book last summer that, not and other words, the guys. Blue Cover, The Lake, Meet Me at the Lake, Carly Fortune book. The second book, um, the sequel is out, and I wanna read that. So I'm gonna finish In a Jam, which is what I'm reading right now. It's kind of waking up, I'm making myself finish that tonight, and then I'm gonna start the other. Just have a nice night. Tomorrow's a lot of socializing, so I have really got to like be on my A game. Also, I've been using vitamin C again, and it's made my skin so rough. Like, I can't describe it other than rough, and I forgot that vitamin C does that because I feel like before I've only really used like Sunday Riley and a few others. And then I, I don't know, like it didn't used to do this to my skin and now it does. So what's the best like vitamin C that isn't gonna like irritate my skin? Like look at how messed up it is. I just have an oil on it right now. But anyways, I'm gonna finish my meal, watch Winter Hill, read, and have a great time.
Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, today is actually a day full of events, which I haven't had in years. Obviously, there's not like, I mean, there's honestly a good amount of events in Dallas, but um, not like stacked up like this. So the first thing, well, I'm on my way to go work out. And then we're going to lunch with Lone River, which is where Ranch Water is made and Lainey Wilson. Love Lainey Wilson. And then there's supposed to be like three ACM artists performing. And then I don't even know anyone who's going to that lunch. So I guess I'll make friends. Oh, and then I have Bridget's like Elemis launch. And tonight I have an event for Dry Bar and I'm getting a blowout. So it's really quite the day. We'll do, we'll have to pick out a good outfit when I get back. Um, update, I barely could read more of that book last night. I should have just ended up like not reading it, but I feel like I was with the past week reading it, so I have to just get it done so I have one to add to my Goodreads list. So I'm gonna force myself to finish that tonight. Maybe I'll read it to my blowout. It's just like, it's not the worst book I've ever read. There's like nothing about it that makes me want to read it, you know? It is time to get ready. I just got some work done. I got our photos back. Also, the pink puffs should be out by the time this vlog goes up because I'm like a week out. We're launching like either the 16th, 17th, or 18th, so probably will be out. Sorry about Coco. I've gotta leave in 40 minutes. Thank God I have my hair up. Um, and I'm gonna do a little updated makeup routine because I like how I've been doing it. I'm kind of into it lately. I've been using this primer. It's a fine primer, nothing to write home about. Um, it says it pumps and primes. I don't think it does either one of those things, but I mean, it primes, it doesn't plump. My face has been like so puffy lately and I don't know what is going on. Um, I've been using this tart brush to apply my foundation, but I feel like if I apply it to the brush, I probably could just put it back in my hand. Like then you like lose it all. Um, but this NARS like light reflecting foundation, my makeup artist, Kristen Farah in Dallas, uses it on me a lot. And so, I mean, obviously it's a really popular foundation. I've had so many of these, but I ran out of it. And then recently was like, you know what? That's what I need. It's obviously light reflecting and it looks really good in photos. So, been loving this. Also, I'm working with Sierra on my entryway that I'm gonna use as like my studio, almost as like where I'm gonna record the podcast at home. And she sent me all the final selects. So if you guys need a good interior designer, she can do it virtually, but we've never actually met. She hasn't, seen this, she hasn't actually been in the space. Definitely recommend her. Um, and I'm gonna order some stuff today. I'm actually gonna be gone for like eight hours, which I obviously, I work from home, so I'm never really gone for eight hours. Um, and to answer anyone's questions about like what I do with the dogs just in general, which I've been getting so many, like everyone's so concerned, like where they go when I am traveling or whatever, not that I'm traveling today, but they have a dog sitter um, who takes them. And then if it's not the dog sitter, then it's my dad. And then, um, which they love their dog sitter. She also does like um, drop-ins. So like today, if I'm gone for eight hours, I'll have her come. Which like normally, well, I guess that's like a normal work day, so they just leave their dog. But just in Coco right now, I have been doing that. So anyways, I have this dib stick, which I like. I, I realize it's probably put too much on. Um, I will say this blush is not really the vibe. This is the new one. This is the shade 2.5. I'm also gonna use this brush to see how I like it for this. This brush just like busts everything out so perfectly. The guy messed up my makeup the other day and I just used this and I was like, wow, you know, that's amazing. So I think before I leave, I'm gonna hopefully order that couch on mine. <sighs> now I'll show you the guys the blush. So you can see it's just like a little too light. Oh wow, like see it? You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I gotta figure this one out. Okay, this Patrick Ta brow gel is the best brow gel I've ever used. I'm not really like even partial to brow gels normally. I'm like, whatever, like gets the job done. I've always used the Kosas one, or I've used it recently and I really like it. Patrick Ta, unbelievable. The only thing is that if you get it like above your eyebrows, it'll like dry weird, but it locks them in place. I don't feel the man at all. 
Um, but I really love this brow gel. Um, okay, I just always feel weird about powders. I never, I feel like I don't apply them correctly. I feel like they never look right, um, whatever. So I I got this Say one, which I really have been liking the Say products that I've been trying out lately. In a weird way, it's like I don't know how to like apply them, even though it's just a powder all over your face. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Another fun thing is I'm going to the PBR on Saturday. The PBR is professional bull riding, by the way, if you guys don't know, um, but it's like a pretty big thing here, so I'm excited. I've been about it before, and I didn't get to go to this one, and I did get to go to the Great American Rodeo, which was really fun. I'm putting this on out of order. My holy grail bronzer, the Fenty bronzer in Coco Naughty. I love this stuff. It warms out my face so much. This is like one of the products that I'm using that's not new, but I just love. And then I will just go in and use this in my eyes, like an actual bronzer. Sometimes I'll use this NARS palette, but I still don't do much to it. And this is the Ocean Dry Cantina thing in copper. I don't know, but <clears throat> just like typical browns in my eye. For actual lashes, which I learned how to do this weekend, um, I use the rain lashes and I love these. I'm not doing that today. Um, honestly, I really could though, but I don't feel like wearing lashes for eight hours. Um, and I'm eventually gonna get a blowout while I'm out, so I'm not really feeling that. Um, for blush, I think my sister left this, I should tell her and this in my bag when we went to Eras, but I've just been using the NARS orgasm, oh, this is not the right brush. Um, the NARS orgasm brush, which is just such a classic blush. Also the fact that we were wearing this when we were like 15 and filming YouTube videos being like, now we're using the orgasm blush, like that's crazy, you know? You don't even like know how to do that at 15, but anyways. Um, then moving on to mascara, I've been using just my normal. Where is this even from? Just a, this is a Revlon eyelash curler, and then Tarte Man Eater mascara. Love this mascara. Um, and then Pillow Talk on my lips, and that's been it. But I've been really into the makeup look. Oh, also, of course, my Morphe setting spray. But yeah, amazing. Feeling good. And I always put too much on, so then I dry it like this, let it sit, do my eyes, and we're done. It's like less than a 10 minute makeup routine, but it's like what I do if I'm wearing makeup, basically. Okay, so here is my outfit. My boobs might fly out of this top, but like, we'll see. Branching out a little bit, I got this brown skirt from Zara last year, and I never wore it, and I always wanted to. It's like one of those things that I'm excited to wear, and it's like, I've never worn it, you know? Um, this top is, I honestly have no idea. I think it's an old Revolve. Regardless, it's old, I doubt. It's, there's no way it's like still available. Obviously, it's just my everyday go-to bag. And I'm wearing my Lucchese boots. Um, I was gonna wear my Vinci Charlie because they're a little bit pointier, but they're shorter and like, it was just so, it was like cutting wrong. So anyways, it's also raining. So I'm gonna bring a blazer to like put over my head. Okay, it's the only thing that I have that like matches. Really hope my uh, boobs don't fall out in front of all my new friends. But hey, honestly, if it's gonna happen to anyone, I would probably care the least. So then I have this and I feel like it's just like cutting a little bit weird, whatever. But I don't really have an option and I'm not planning on wearing it the whole time. But I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna be social. I'm gonna be outgoing. I'm gonna talk to all the girlies. Gonna make some friends. I hope that I like know a few people there. See, like it definitely is a little bit like weird, but again, it's just my jacket. So what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, I love, I actually am kind of into it. Let's see, coat fitzy. Um, need to leave like now. And here we go. It's a day of events, which I haven't had in so long. I am filming a TikTok vlog as well. So anyways. Goodbye.
goes to my girl, Haley Withers. <laughs> It is 9 p.m. and I'm finally back. I just got an amazing blowout at Dry Bar to celebrate the launch of their new product, which is the Final Call Frizz and Static Control Mist, which is honestly perfect for this weather. It's been like gross in Dallas this week. Okay, that's actually really crazy before and after. They gave us a balloon too to do this, but so exciting. This is the Bridget Elements collab. The dinner was so cute and everyone was so nice. I'm trying to open this. Oh my God, it's so cute. So these are like reusable under eye patches, a little hair bow, and then we have these products. So this is like a bundle basically. That's supposed to be really great. And I'm excited because I love Elemis and my skin's been acting up. So I'm actually thinking about like trying new products right now, which I know I love these. So I think I'm actually gonna use these tonight. And last but not least, we have stuff from Moon River, which I love. This is the event with Lainey Wilson today. Um, and it is so great. So Ranch Water is made at Lone River. And Ranch Water, they are the, I mean, I love Ranch Water in general, obviously. But Ranch Water, these seltzers are my favorite seltzers. They are so good. They have so many different flavors. Okay, very convenient. They just gave me this cup, which is cool. Also, Lainey's in um, Yellowstone, and they're doing a collab with Yellowstone. Then Lone River, and then look at how sick this coaster is. Like, so nice. These seltzers, I have them in my pantry right now. I'm just gonna go put these with them. They are the best seltzers ever. I have more outside, but they're so good. Any of them, I really like the um, like blood orange margarita. Just made some breakfast. I had this yesterday and it was so good. It's like a Quaker oat. What are these even called actually? Whatever, with cottage cheese and honey. Um, I was inspired because uh, Brett's Bites on Instagram keeps posting about it and it is so good. I didn't even know that I liked cottage cheese, um, but I'm trying to eat more protein like I said and cottage cheese has protein. So anyways, incredible. All right, done with my workout, went home and changed. I'm wearing my new bag, love. Well, it's not new to me, but you know what I mean? It's out now. Um, and I'm going to get my nails done from Gloss Lab because they just added dip and extensions before it was just gel. There's two locations in Dallas. I'm taking a TikTok about it, so if you guys are interested. I am trying to find like my go-to nail salon. I feel like I found one for a couple months and then I'm over it and whatever. Also, just like not high maintenance when it comes to nails. I'm like, just do it and like I'll leave, you know? So anyways, we're off. I think I just got the best manicure of my life. It took a while, I'll be honest. I got there at like 10.40 and it's 12.11 as I'm leaving. And one of my like main things with the manicure is I'm, I get so bored. I'm like, I just need to be in and out in an hour or less. Um, but I will say this manicure is so much better than the ones that only take an hour, go figure. Um, I really should have gotten a pedicure at the same time, but I just like, they invited me and I wasn't thinking about it, whatever. 
Um, but it was great. I really liked it. The actual nail salon itself, like, isn't stressful. Like, you know how sometimes when you walk in and they're just like, really like they're just like efficient like they're rushing you pretty much at all times that stresses me out and this place didn't feel like it did that at all so anyways i'm actually really into it it was really cool and you can get um like a subscription so the idea is that it's like cheaper and you just like pay monthly um which is really cool so the more the details will be on my TikTok of like prices and stuff. But anyways, I think I'm gonna stop at Mendocino Farms for lunch because I'm starving and I really don't feel like I have to go to low still, so like I need to get food. I'm at Mendocino Farms and I'm having the best lunch ever. The not so fried chicken sandwich is so good. Watermelon street something. I don't know, but it, it actually looks great. It's like jicama and it's amazing. And then they have this Thai turmeric lemonade and it is unbelievable. Mendocino Farms is so good. All right guys, I'm off to dinner and a show with Sony Nashville. This skirt is Princess Polly, I just got it. Stunning, Gucci Lucchese, Skims, Revolve. I'll have it all linked below. Just watch Brooke Davis's wedding on the One Tree Hill. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So I love a good thriller where yeah. the wife doesn't kill the husband. Right. That's like, huge perfect. for me. It's perfect because most thrillers, the wife kills the husband. Yeah. Um, 